solar energy, abundant, infinitely renewable, and best of all, free. Well, not quite. Though harnessing power from the sun to offset eco-unfriendly energy sources has been an environmentalist dream since the 1970s, the technology has never quite been feasible. But that may be about to change. The installation we have right now, one megawatt at our Rancho Cucamonga facility in California, is the largest corporate design system in operation at present. And how this basically works is takes the sunlight from the wavelengths off the sunlight, excites the media that's inside the thin film technology, and generates electricity that goes through a uh, series of processes and to the overall building electricity and uses. Major corporations like Google, Staples, and General Motors are working with cutting-edge energy companies like Unisolar and Deers to roll out the latest solar technology on their considerable rooftops and putting formerly vacant space to good use. Solar power is very important because it's a renewable resource and it's important to General Motors because it helps us do our part to reduce energy use and to make sure we're doing our part for the environment. And it's also important that the economics work out right, so it has to be good for the bottom line. That's right. Today, being environmentally sensitive is good, but being eco-friendly and balancing the bottom line is even better. If you have the biggest companies in the world putting solar PV roof, solar, solar panels on their rooftops, that's going to drive up demand, which is going to increase the, the supply of the systems and thereby drive down the cost. And before you know it, the price of solar will be somewhere where you and I can afford it and, and seriously consider putting it onto our rooftops. Hansen says while solar energy costs have dropped over 50 percent in the last 30 years, governments still need to offer some incentives to users to keep demand high until enough supply is available to make power from the sun feasible for all of us. I'm Kate Brooks.